In our 500 channel supersized world of multiple options, it's nice to know that there is a place in Brighton that features a style of food that preaches less is more without giving up taste. There is a, something Afghan cuisine is more like we keep it very simple and very light. We just add a little bit of the spice just to spice it up, but not overwhelm. Najib and Baheja Rostami own Ariana Restaurant, one of only two Greater Boston restaurants featuring Afghan cuisine. In a young age, I left Afghanistan. We had a bakery in Afghanistan. That started the whole thing. I always wanted to have my own restaurant when I was even in, at, in college. He's a risk taker. I'm a very safe person. I remember when he came here, the first thing he said was, I don't want to work for anyone. I want to be able to work for myself. I come before anybody comes in the restaurant. I open the restaurant, I get in the kitchen, whatever needs to be cooked, I cook. All right, this is the rack of lamb. The rack of lamb, we usually get it fresh on like a couple of times a week. You can't really freeze it, so it has to be fresh. So you can marinate one hour ahead of time, you know what I mean, and then ready to grill it. But before the meat hits the grill, Najib needs to get hands-on, preparing non bread in a traditional tandoor oven. So we do this so it doesn't bubble. The naan is placed to cook directly on a hot clay wall as our lamb finds its way onto the fire. This is the bread we make it right here. Before they both meet on the plate, along with some fresh rice, eggplant, and voila. This is exactly what you would get when you go to somebody's home in Afghanistan. The presentation is a little different, but the food and the taste is exactly what you get. It's a bit easier for Najib to create the taste of home as he cooks side by side with his brother, preparing dishes they grew up on. This is the lamb shank. This is a very famous dish in Afghanistan. The ravioli is not typical ravioli like with the cheese and all the stuff. We cut the leeks and scallion, we add a little bit of spices and then we fill it in the dough and just throw in the water, serve with a little bit of yogurt in the bottom on the top and top with a little bit of ground beef sauce. We don't really see our customers as our customers. We know them, like they know my kid's name, they, we talk. I think that's part of us and our culture, part of the Afghanistan. We met the Rostamis before the latest developments in Afghanistan. And of course, these are difficult times for people with loved ones still living there. Beheja says she is heartbroken about what is now happening in her home country and fearful for relatives and friends. Of course, we are thinking of all of them. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. We hope to see you back here tomorrow night for another edition of Chronicle. Good night, everyone.